Have you ever taken a photo that you thought was great in the field, but when you get back to your office you found that it was either too dark or perhaps was too far away and didn't make the best use of the available photo space? The image optimizer can help. It's important that we always optimize images we've already placed on a page rather than the source image in the database. This ensures that we always have the original image to fall back on if we make a mistake during our optimization. Double-clicking on a photo in your report will bring up the optimizer. When the optimizer loads, you'll see your image and several controls to the left. You can switch to another photo in your report here. And the changes you've made to the current image will be saved into your report automatically. The most common adjustments people make are for brightness and cropping. Increasing a photo's brightness will help to eliminate shadows if your picture started out too dark because it was taken late in the day or is heavily covered by trees or other landscaping. Just adjust the brightness slider here until you're satisfied with the results. To crop the edges of your photo, select the cropping tool here and draw a box over the area of your photo you'd like to keep. Holding down the shift key as you draw your image will maintain the original aspect ratio. If you need to add text or denote which property the image belongs to, click the add balloon icon, move your mouse to the spot you want to add text, and then click your mouse button to place the balloon. This brings up the balloon placement window. Select the appropriate address or click the Create New Custom Balloon radio button and type your text in the box provided. You can adjust the balloon placement by dragging and dropping it where you need. To add an icon, click here, choose the desired icon, and click on the image where you'd like to place it. If you make a mistake and want to restore your original image, click the Restore button here. And when you've made all the edits you need, click Save Images to commit the changes and return to your report. For more videos, resources, and information about live events, visit training.alamode.com.